Hi, in this problem, we're going to integrate x plus one times three x minus two. So we have a product. Now, one of the things uh, that people often get confused when they're learning to integrate uh, about is that there is no product rule for integration. There's one for derivatives, but there's not one for integrals. So in order to do this problem, basically we just have to multiply this out. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll write down the integral sign and let's distribute x times 3x is going to give us 3x squared. And then x times negative 2 is going to give us negative 2x. 1 times 3x is going to give us a plus 3x. And 1 times negative 2 is going to give us negative 2. Then we have the parentheses and the dx. Let's see if we can combine like terms. I think we can. So this is the indefinite integral of three x squared. And then negative two x plus three x is simply x. We can combine these and then we still have the minus two dx. Okay, now we're ready to integrate. So whenever you have x to a power like this, as long as your exponent is not negative one, all you do is you add one and divide by the result. This will be three, and then x, two plus one is three, and then you divide by the result, three, plus, there's a one here, so you add one and divide by the result. So x to the two divided by two. And then whenever there's a number by itself, all you do is put an x next to it, so x. Something missing, it's the plus c, super important. And we're almost done. Let's just do a quick recap. We took the number one and we added it to this, called the power rule. So we get x cubed over three, looks okay. One plus one is two, so we wrote the two and divided by two. And when you have a number by itself, you just put an x. The only thing left to do is maybe cancel these threes. We have x cubed plus x squared over two minus two x, and then plus our constant of integration, capital C. And so that would be the final answer. Good luck.